Hi everyone, welcome. It was not too long ago that we checked in on my bin of worms that originated from the compost barrel. And here you can see that's this system here where it says the worms from the compost barrel. These little guys were given a pair, a pair cut in half. And man, it seemed like they went crazy for that. That was quite a worm sighting when we uh, checked in on this bin to see how the pair that they got was coming along. And well, as luck would have it, this bin over here was also fed a pair. In this case, the pair was not cut in half. It was kept whole. It was placed right in the middle. And besides the pair, they got blueberry, they got banana peels. And it was only 10 days ago. So a lot of times, to me, it seems like if you get back in time, before the worms really ravage a really delicious morsel of food, then maybe you got a chance at a worm sighting. So even though only 10 days have passed since we last checked in on these African night crawlers, in the interest of maybe getting a little bit of a worm spotting, a little bit of fun, we're coming back in here to feed them again today. Yeah, we'll probably see leftovers, but hopefully, even more importantly, hopefully we'll see a whole bunch of wormies. So let's get them up on the bench and get to work. Most of what we have here has been talked about already. It's been 10 days. Um, the stuff that they got, blueberries and a whole pear and banana peels and whatnot. So that was 19th feeding. This is feeding number 20. I didn't even bring food down. I wanted to see what kind of leftovers there were before we decide what to give them. It might not be that much if there's a lot of leftovers. So like I said, 10 days since they were last fed. And the system's now 35 weeks of age. It's definitely getting up there. So... Let's get them some food and get them fed. I'm even thinking that if the leftovers are plentiful, as far as kitchen scraps go, maybe we just give them a whole bunch of bedding. These are African night crawlers after all, and they are pretty well known for favoring bedding material as their food source, just as much as the kitchen scraps. That was just an idea if we came in here and found that they were still a long way from finishing that last feeding from 10 days ago. Although, you know, if it's the stuff that you really like, then it could end up just getting consumed. But I mean, like that piece of paper there didn't seem like it had a whole lot of wear on it, which might mean they were really favoring the, the food that they got last time. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. It would be a little disappointing if the pear didn't have quite the reaction it had in the other bin. But then again, these are different types of worms that might just have different likings. So I'm not comparing apples to apples here, per se, when it comes to this pear. <laughs> Although, you know, if it was apples, I don't think we'd have anything even close to what we saw with the pear last time. The apple just somehow takes a while, usually. But... The pear last time was quite a hit, so I'm curious to see how it did here. Looks like we used some uh, some various paper types down here as supplemental bedding, almost like a covering for the last feeding. It does seem like we're starting to bump into some worms down here. So I think the middle, right in the middle, I believe, is where the pear had been positioned. So I see other people on their worm channels try to sort of get under what they perceive to be a potential worm party happening. So I figured let's give that a try here too to see if we can sort of give the whole section where the worms have been hanging out a little bit of a lift. <laughs> and here's the pair. So it does seem like all the material right beneath where they had been was kind of uh, the scene place to be if you're a worm there might even be some more down here <laughs> look at all these worms ay 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 we've got ourselves a pretty good worm party happening here now i'm starting to finally smell the scent of the pear just a little bit of its um juices and i think it was out of this one piece of bedding that was pretty much inundated with um with pear juice but the pear itself, when I pulled it out of the hole, didn't even have hardly any odor to it at all. <laughs> so unusual. So, wow. Yeah, look at that. Big bundles of worms just hanging out, enjoying the pear. What do we have here? 
This would be banana peel, I believe. Also quite popular. The blueberries, on the other hand, is that what we're seeing here? Yep, I believe so. Now I actually smell a little bit of blueberry scent as well. <laughs> I was just suddenly reminded of those magic markers I had when I was a kid where each one had a special scent. Although I think purple might not have been blueberry. I think it might have been grape or was attempting to smell like grape. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely encountered some leftovers and I think that was intentional. We were really hoping to kind of barge in on these wormies and catch them in the act of enjoying a really scrumptious meal. And I almost, I really do feel like I'm continuing to come back to that idea of possibly making this feeding into primarily bedding. I, I think we could just reuse the leftovers. We've even got a whole bunch of leftover bedding, but if we were to combine that leftover bedding with a bunch of brand new fresh bedding, and then maybe even sprinkle in a little bit of my worm chow. I've got my worm chow right here, ready to go. Perhaps it will be just a feeding of worm chow and mainly bedding. Why don't we do that? Here's even more bedding. I think combining this used bedding with some nice fresh stuff, sprinkled with some worm chow, and then returning these leftovers to it will probably make for something that these wormies are probably going to really appreciate. They're going to go nuts for it, as a matter of fact. I'm almost certain of it. <laughs> so this stuff generally sits around for a little while, a few days at least, before I use it. Not always, but that is, to me, I think the ideal condition where the stuff has had a chance to sort of just soak and become soft really easy for the worms to rip right into yeah I think they're gonna appreciate that just a big pile of bedding we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of my worm chow which really will kind of make it into a meal but since we've got a good bit of leftovers today as well as leftover bedding from last time we're just gonna make it a very simple lightweight dry almost feeding I mean, my bedding, my prepared bedding does have moisture content to it, but not a whole lot. Probably goes in here with a good potential to still pull a little bit of moisture into itself from the surrounding materials. And then out here on the side, I feel like I'm seeing lots of blueberries that I unearthed, but they're sort of scattered about. Kind of hard to spot amidst some of this material, but if I see one, I thought it might be better for it to be down within the feeding area along with all the other leftovers and then back can go all these hit food items banana peel even with a big pile of worms hanging out on it still <laughs> and the the pear which has been doing really nicely as well and perhaps by me just breaking that bottom portion of it open a little bit maybe even spraying on some more activity even this this little stem section of a few banana peels where they would normally attach to one another at the bunch or even here together it's a pretty nice pretty nice feeding I think you know and I think if, even if we were to come back in with just a little bit more bedding since this is primarily all this feeding is consisting of is bedding let's come in with just one more oops, handful and since I almost tipped over the <laughs> the worm chow supply maybe that was a sign that said hey it would only be proper to sprinkle in a little worm chow with that too. So what do you think? Was this the type of a feeding African night crawlers are going to enjoy? I believe it is. And I think if we were to just take a moment to examine the outer edges of the system going around, we can sort of kill two birds with one stone by aerating the material a little bit. While at the same time getting a chance to check it out, it looks really nice. Feels very damp, but it also shows no signs of wanting to clump together like if it were muddy, so it does seem like it's the perfect worm habitat. The consistency for a perfect worm habitat almost. And I think we're almost ready to cover up and put away. Let's just do the same though to this other far end before we do. Just to make sure things are pretty consistent. You know, I guess after 35 weeks in service. It's 
not too surprising that the majority of what I'm finding down here is castings. Yeah, very nice. Perhaps even a little bit moisture, more moisture out on this side. Here's an old banana stem. <laughs> Perhaps I saw a little bit um, of more moisture out on this edge within the castings material, but certainly nothing that looks um, like it has the potential to become bad. So this is a very nice looking worm bin. And now that they've received a nice big heavy portion of bedding, they've got a whole bunch more space to crawl around and play in. <laughs> so hopefully they like it. Let's bring back the old feeding zone indicator, which is still in great shape to show us where we last fed. If you can count that as a feeding, and I think I do. I think it, I think it is fair to count it as a feeding. All that worm chow, not to mention since these are African night crawlers, all that bedding definitely going to be seen by the worms as something they could certainly rip right into and treat as food, same as the kitchen scraps they normally get. So that's it for our check-in on our now 245-day-old African night crawler worm bin. After only 10 days, checking in between the previous feedings was really meant just to give us those fun worm sightings which we caught there. So <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I did. I got a little bit of um, cleaning up and putting away to take care of here. I'm not going to keep you around for that. That stuff's boring. Before I go though, really quick, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.